this out. So thank you so much, Kim. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Coleman. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Kim Klein. I work with the member rebate program. Um, we are a free member benefit that is available to all builder and remodeler members. Uh, the only prerequisite that you need to participate and receive the rebates is that you are a builder or remodeler member and you're a current member of your HBA. Uh, so there's three easy steps. First is registration, second is claiming, third is the best part, actually receiving your rebate check. So today what I'm going to do is guide you through uh, our website, www.hbarebates.com. So the page that we're looking at now is the home page. Uh, this is going to be your one-stop shop for all things associated with the member rebate program. So you'll see that there's the top toolbar and this is all of your navigational needs. Down below, you will see the listing of all of the current participating manufacturers. And these manufacturers are updated on a quarterly basis too. As new manufacturers are eager to participate in the member rebate program and put their program together, the kind of rebate that's going to be provided to the members, uh, we get that updated. So once you register, we'll provide you with regular updates to what the member rebate program has going on and um, anything new and of course keep you updated with reminders to deadline dates for claiming as well as uh, your status when you can anticipate seeing your rebate check arriving. So let's move forward. Uh, there are currently over 50 participating manufacturers in the member rebate program and this provides the same rebate to all members who are participating, the same rebates that these manufacturers provide to the top five national builders. The reason being is that these manufacturers want to reward your loyalty, uh, your loyalty to their brand and your loyalty to the Federation. They see the buying power that HBA members have, and this is why they have put together these very lucrative programs to be able to provide you with these rebates. So as we scroll down the page, you'll see that there is a map of the US and this is where you'll find uh, your state dedicated website. So I'm gonna go over and click on the state of Texas. This website is set up the same way as what hbarebates.com is, uh, but this is your state dedicated site. This is tabrebates.com. So here, again, you'll see that same toolbar across the top, and you'll see that same listing of all of the participating manufacturers. The primary difference is that your state-based website is going to have some additional uh, self-directed educational tools and some pieces that you can review the member rebate program on your own at your leisure and have this information available to you. So once again, the member rebate program is a member benefit that is exclusive to builder and remodeler members. Subcontractors, suppliers, installers, associate members, unfortunately do not receive the direct benefit of receiving the rebates. Um, however, those associate members, especially those associate members who are affiliated with any of the materials or the manufacturers that are participating, it's a great knowledge to have that this is a benefit available to builder and remodeler members. It's a great way for you to support your business uh, and grow your business by being able to share the fact that the materials, the manufacturers that you're selling or using on your jobs, those builder model, uh, builder members, your clients uh, have that opportunity to then claim for these rebates and receive these rebates. So your knowledge of the program is a great benefit. 
it's a great way to benefit your local and state HBA because the member rebate program really has a basis of membership of uh, recruitment and member retention uh, basis. So being able to share this information is crucial. It also supports members doing business with members, which is a theme that is so important throughout our Federation. There's a self-directed video, and this is just a brief video, again, that covers all of the information about the member rebate program on the surface level, not quite as in-depth as what we're re reviewing this morning. The steps to participate, again, you'll see build a registration, the calendar, claiming, and receiving your rebates. Over 70% of the builder members who participated in the member rebate program in 2019 had received back rebate values that allowed them to negate their membership dues. The goal to the member rebate program, again, because the prerequisite to participate is your membership to the HBA. Uh, these rebates have the ability to offset and in many cases 70 percent of the cases have been able to provide these members with being able to fully negate their membership dues. In 2019 the national average so this is uh, the national average of all builders and remodelers who participated in the member rebate program had received a rebate back an annual rebate of $1,472.55. So these are some really impressive numbers. When I took a look at Texas builders and also uh, a deeper dive into Dallas builders, Dallas and Texas have both trended a little bit lower than this $1,472.55 number. So in 2019, the state of Texas, there were 465 builders who were currently registered in the member rebate program. 115 of those builders had participated, claiming at least once in, in the year of 2019. The total rebate paid to those 115 builders was $131,910. So the Texas average rebate paid to a Texas builder who participated in 2019 was $1,147.04. For Texas builders, there were 102 builders from the Dallas VA who had, uh, who had registered with the member rebate program. In 2019, only 26 of those members had participated submitted a claim at least once during the calendar year of 2019. The total rebate paid to those 26 builders was $23,939, and the average rebate paid to a Dallas builder participating in 2019 was $920.73. So that trend was lower, but when you look at participation numbers, and perhaps builders maybe not claiming on a regular basis or claiming for all of their jobs that were completed and worthy of receiving a rebate for that year. Uh, that's really what I'm seeing as being the trend of keeping those numbers lower. Um, I'm looking at the opportunity for more Dallas builders to participate, build up that number, and you'll see as we go through a demonstration of the claiming, I collected some data about the most regularly claimed for manufacturers in your area. So you can see just the uh, how easy it is to claim for these manufacturers and start receiving that money back. Um, as we continue to scroll down, you'll see a couple other pieces of self-directed education, Insights Magazine and also the Builder Brochure. The Builder Brochure is uh, the same information like what we're covering now, gives you all of the stats and the basis of how to go ahead, register and claim. Uh, this is a, a, a digital product static, so it doesn't have those intuitive pieces, but it does provide you with, uh, with the information that'll be helpful to you.
And then the Insights Magazine is a digital magazine that we produce quarterly. It will provide you updates on new manufacturers that are participating in the program, uh, an introduction to our team, and any updates that we have on a quarterly basis about the member rebate program. So a little bit about our team. Uh, we are an administrative group. We are a family run business. Um, our base, our home base is uh, in the state of New Jersey, but we cover all of the uh, HBAs coast to coast in the United States. So we work to um, bring together these manufacturers to your HBA. And we work closely with all of the HBAs to assure that all of the educational tools are out there, promotion is made easy, and we can uh, really help support membership. So the member rebate program began in 2006 by our president, Richard Robinson. He is the leading spike for the state of New Jersey, NJBA and at the time had owned a chain of lumber yards. He was finding that there were a, a number of members, a number of builder members with the New Jersey Builders Association who were receiving special rates, uh, special uh, rebates and programs directly through the manufacturers. And many of these builders were larger builders. Being someone who was very focused on membership and obviously becoming a leading spike, uh, he wanted to find a way to bridge that, to support membership and also be able to benefit those builders where they could most um, greatly uh, enjoy it is through those rebates. So the manufacturers who he was working with were jumping on board right away. In 2009 is when the Texas Builders Association had joined the member rebate program as a state benefit, as a free member benefit to all builder and remodeler members. And, it's, and the program has been growing ever since. Rich Robinson is Richard's son. He is our VP and he is also the current membership chair to the NAHB. So again, we see that support of membership. Uh, Rich works closely on day-to-day -day activities while Richard still continues to work closely with the manufacturers and works as the program administrator. Myself and my coworker, Josh Shields, are two people that you'll likely have uh, a fair amount of contact with. And we are both program administrators as well as the communication liaisons. I work closely with the HBAs and Josh works very closely with the builders. But feel free, we are interchangeable. So we're working here to support you and provide you with the answers to the questions that you have and be able to guide you through your experience with the member rebate program. Josh has an assistant, her name is Jacqueline O'Hara. And she is someone too who will be following up through regular email blasts, uh, contacts with you if you reach out to us and have any questions. It's very likely that you're going to be placed in contact with either Rich, Josh, myself, or Jacqueline, and we can help guide you through. And then to round out our team of six, we have Karen Duncan, and Karen is our claims processor. So you probably won't have any direct contact with Karen because she's busy uh, performing the data entry processes of entering in the claims and getting the data to the individual manufacturers so you receive your rebates on a timely basis. But that is our team. Uh, we work very closely to assure that you're getting the best service possible. So as we continue to scroll down, you'll see that, um, again, there's just a blurb for the associate members. If there are any associate members tuning in, know that we will work with you as well to be able to promote your business, provide you with any materials that you may need, uh, whether it be counter decals, uh, flyers, things that you may want or need to be able to support your business while promoting the member rebate program. You can register online for our associate member directory, 
or feel free to reach out to me directly and I can put together those materials that you may need. And as we scroll down, you'll see the quarterly uh, promotional materials that we make available, likely something that you've already seen from Coleman, uh, sending that out to you on your, um, on your regular updates. So what's next is I'm going to walk you through the calendar so we can take a look at how the, the inner workings of the member rebate program work. Uh, here you'll see that our claiming occurs on a quarterly basis. So right now we are at a place where we just closed out second quarter claiming. This is for the period that uh, residential jobs that were completed between April 1st and June 30th were claimed for. Also, especially now, the year of 2020 and our industry really being turned upside down, uh, we're opening up the opportunity for any members who have not yet claimed to be able to go back and claim for any of those residential jobs that you didn't claim for because you hadn't yet registered or you might have forgotten. So for this past quarter, the, we were allowing builders to claim for any of the residential jobs that used any of the 50 plus manufacturers participating going back for the first half of 2020. Looking forward, and this is why we're really in a great timing period right now with the timing of this webinar, we're focusing on third quarter claiming. The third quarter claiming period will deadline on Friday, November 20th. Uh, that will be the Friday before Thanksgiving week. And this will be your opportunity if you have been claiming regularly to claim for your residential jobs that use these participating manufacturers that were completed during the period of July 1st through September 30th. If you have not yet registered or you have not yet claimed, this will be your opportunity that you can go back all the way to January. So your residential jobs that were completed January 1st through September 30th, this will be your time to register and get those jobs claimed. You'll see too that the, uh, the claiming deadlines will always occur two months after the period of job completion. Uh, those jobs that you'll be claiming for falls. Uh, we do this because we want to make sure that you as a builder, because this is something that does take an ounce of effort, you have that time to be able to compile your records and get your claim in. Also, it gives us that time to get everything promoted and get your education and all of the support that you might want or need to get your claims completed. Completion date is something that really were, is a resounding tone through the member rebate program. The reason that we focus on completion date and why you'll want to register and submit your claims on homes that were completed is because the manufacturers can only by law pay one rebate per home. So that's why it's always going to be in your best, um, your best interest to claim on a home once it is completed. Not necessarily when you were purchasing those materials or when those materials were installed. Wait until the home is complete and claim for all of those materials at that time during that appropriate quarter or what we're looking at now, the first three quarters of the year for your third quarter claim. Uh, the manufacturers do that tracking and verify the claims. So you'll see when we take a look at the claiming process that they have uh, requested the exact information that they need to verify those claims. So if those materials that you're claiming for, if they were purchased in a previous quarter, if they were purchased in 2019, that's still fine. They'll still be able to verify that claim and get your rebate paid to you. Uh, just keep in mind that you can only claim for one manufacturer per home. You'll see too that there are some deadline reminder 
uh, portals and services available via Google Calendar, Apple and Outlook Calendar, and Text Reminder. Feel free, register for that, and then you'll receive those updated reminders for the deadlines, uh, how much time you have left to claim, and also you'll receive those uh, notifications when we've received your claim, when we've processed your claim, when you'll receive your remittance statement, and when you'll receive your actual rebate check. So the workflow, you'll register first, you'll submit your claim. We go through that administrative piece and get all of the claims processed. And then you'll receive a remittance statement. So all of the remittance statements will go out in bulk. Uh, what we're looking at for the second quarter, so any members who, had, who have claimed for the second quarter, you can anticipate receiving your remittance statement in early October, probably that first week in October. Now, all of you members who are going to be participating for third quarter, you can anticipate receiving your remittance statement likely the first week in January. The remittance statement is a summary of everything that you had claimed for. It'll provide you a list of all of the addresses that were claimed for in that given quarter, uh, along with a listing of all of the manufacturers that you claimed for those homes, your estimated rebate amount per home, and then your total estimated rebate amount. Um, this is set up in such a way, so from an accounting point of view, what you see on your remittance statement total, your grand total, is what you can anticipate receiving your rebate check for. Uh, the rebate checks, the, out, the outgoing processing of the rebate checks, that timing is very well aligned along with the deadlines. So those second quarter builders who had participated, you can anticipate receiving your rebate check, um, likely that late November, early December period. And again, this is set up in such a way, knowing that a lot of the manufacturers will take 60 to 90 days to be able to submit their uh, their rebates to us. So then we shift to clearinghouse and process all of those rebates to you in one lump sum. That lump sum rebate check coming out to you is also a way to keep the program simple. So your accounting people don't have to go back or even if you're doing all of your own personal accounting, you don't have to keep track of each of those individual manufacturer rebate checks coming to you. It'll come to you in one lump sum and you'll have that total that you'll be able to track back to your written statement when you have that check in hand. For builders who are going to be claiming for third quarter, you can anticipate receiving your rebate check likely that late February, early March period. And that'll be the time that we're deadlining for fourth quarter. So with the rebates, with the calendar of claiming, as long as that job was completed during the 2020 calendar year, you'll be claiming for it during this year uh, through third quarter, with that deadline being the end of November. And then fourth quarter will be our wrap up period where of course you'll be claiming for your residential jobs that were completed October through December 31st. It also will give you that opportunity if um, again, just like those builders who are gonna be claiming the first time in third quarter, if you're claiming for fourth quarter, you'll still have that ability to claim for the full year. One thing to keep in mind though, is once that fourth quarter claiming period closes, your opportunity to, uh, to claim for jobs that were completed during the calendar year of 2020 also closes. I'm going to move over to the claim form. Um, actually, I'm going to move over to registration first so you can see what the registration form looks like. Here you'll see that it's a digital registration and all of the necessary information that you'll need to submit has been marked with a red asterisk. The name of your company, contact who will be handling the claims, your mailing address, this is where we'll be sending your uh, quarterly rebate check, 
contact information, telephone number, and email. Um, also, if you wanted to sign up for the text reminders, your mobile number, you can enter this in right at the time of registration and will automatically set you up for those digital text reminders. We want to make sure that we have you correctly aligned to the Dallas Builders Association. So we'll require that you provide the name of your local who you're affiliated with. Once that information is complete, click on submit. It will bring you to a follow-up page that will have a listing of all of the current manufacturers. It's just a punch card, so you can check off all of the manufacturers that you currently use that you're likely to be claiming for. And what we can do at that point, when we follow up with you and send you your welcome email, we'll also be able to send you a customized claim form based on just those manufacturers that you're working with, just those manufacturers that you're likely to claim for. This is another way to keep the process simple, so you're only looking at information that's relevant to you. Also, by providing the list of the manufacturers that you are currently using that you would be claiming for, at that point, we would be able to communicate to you, if you'd wish, uh, what your estimated rebate amount will be. Again, it does take an ounce of effort to be able to claim for these rebates. Um, some people find that it is very lucrative to them, regardless of how much the rebate will be, because any money coming back to them is valuable. Um, but we want to make sure, too, that you'll know that you'll have an idea as to what your rebate amount will be. So you can gauge if this is something that's right for you, if this is, if the, the reward is worth the effort to be able to, uh, to participate and receive these claims and these rebates. So I'm going to go back to, um, oops, I want to go back to our Texas page here. Uh, the next, area that I want to review is the claim form because this is the nitty gritty. This is really what's going to be uh, the piece that is the deal maker or breaker for you. So there are four ways to claim. There is the paper claim form, which is a PDF, the website claim form, which is a new claim form, the Excel spreadsheet, which is one that's very widely used, and also all the way down at the bottom under the headline of advanced method is the online claim form. The online claim form is a real-time online communication tool. So you'll be entering your jobs one at a time and entering in your claim information one manufacturer at a time with those, uh, with those completed addresses. The fact that it's real time, uh, if you're a first time claimer, I wouldn't necessarily suggest going in this direction because if you need to collect any additional data, it does have the potential of timing out. And if the program times out on you, unfortunately that data is lost and you would have to go back and re-enter it. Um, if you do use the online claim form, you'll receive a confirmation that your claim has been received. As long as you receive that confirmation, we've received your claim and we're handing it in to processing to get that, uh, to get that entered for you. Uh, my personal recommendation, if you like the digital form, go ahead and use it. But if you wanted to test the digital form, um, the online claim form in such a way that you'll have a paper trail, that you'll have a record to be able to capture for yourself, then I would suggest using the website claim form. It's set up the same way as the digital, as the online claim form, um, but it allows you to save a record. But what I'm going to do first is take a look at the, um, the paper claim form, the PDF claim form. I'm going to open it up here instead because it takes a little bit less time to get this loaded. But if you click on that file, you'll find that it has a listing of all of the manufacturers that are participating. And that's the only reason why I would recommend getting a customized claim form made up for you. Um, this is, it's five pages long. It has the information about every single manufacturer participating. 
And you'll see that most manufacturers, what they're looking for is simply the name of your supplier and or installer who you used for these materials, and then some basic information about the materials that you used. All of the materials that qualify for the claim is listed on the claim form. So what it will require is information such as value or quantity of the materials used. So for example, um, I noticed that there are four manufacturers that are very regularly claimed for across the, the Dallas Builders Association. Carrier and Bryan HVAC systems, Delta faucets, Heatilator and Heat and Glow fireplaces, and True Team services. So let's take a look at the Carrier and Bryant claim because it's right here too. Uh, Carrier and Bryant would require the name of your HVAC subcontractor. So you would enter in that information here. Let's say you use Tempo Mechanical. You would enter in uh, Tempo Mechanical as your subcontractor. And then because the reward is based on the HVAC systems that you use, you would enter in the quantity of complete HVAC systems used in that home. So you would enter in that quantity here, one or two, however many HVAC systems were used. If that's all that you used, your claim is complete. If you did use any of the manufacturer uh, accessories, then again, you would just enter in your quantities and that's where a model number is required. I'm gonna scroll down a bit to the Delta claim. Again, Delta claim, very similar looking for the name of your plumbing supplier where you purchased your uh, your Delta products from. Uh, let's say that you used Ferguson for your products here. So you would just simply enter in Ferguson for your plumbing supplier and then check off the brand of Delta products that you used. So let's say you use Delta products throughout that home. Um, it does require that you enter in at least the name of one of the faucet styles and finishes that you used. Um, you don't have to go through and find a listing of every single faucet that you use through the home. I would suggest just finding the name of the faucet that's most regularly used, entering that in. Uh, so let's say that you use the classic chrome Delta faucet most regularly in that home. You would just enter in that information there. So the paper claim form is a great way to claim if you're claiming the first time, if you're claiming for just one address for that quarter. It's also a way that is very useful and easy to claim for multiple addresses if you're using all the same materials in that home. You can complete these claims with your total so if you use the Delta faucets in these homes, you would just simply complete that claim just like that with the name of your supplier and the most widely used uh, Delta branded faucet that was used in those homes. With the Carrier and Bryant HVAC systems, you would enter in the total quantity that you used for all of the homes that you had completed along with your HVAC um, subcontractor name. And then, the very final page of this five page um, claim form is where you would enter in those individual addresses with their completion date, what you're claiming for that quarter. You'll save this to your desktop and then submit it to us. You can email it directly to us, mail it, fax it, however you wish. Uh, once we receive that claim, we'll email you a confirmation that we received that claim. Definitely the easiest way, especially in our digital world, is by emailing it in, or I'll show you shortly uh, where we also have an upload portal to be able to submit your claim. Um, but that's the paper claim form. The next claim form that I'm going to demonstrate is the website claim form. And this you'll see again, um, if you take a look at the online claim form, it's really set up the same way, but this is such an easy form to use um, because all of the information is here. And like I said, you can, uh, you can save a file. So what you'll start with is entering in the name of your company and your email.
uh, you'll enter in your addresses and of course just a couple simple questions. So how are you claiming? Are you claiming different products per residential address or are you claiming the same projects in multiple addresses? Uh, let's say we're claiming all the same products just like we would if we were claiming on that total claim form. If we go to the different products, again, you'll just keep submitting your addresses with the same information like that, um, that rinse and repeat mode. So let's start here with our first address on Smith Street in Dallas, Texas. And that was completed 7-1-2000. The next step is you'll click off on each of the manufacturers that you're going to be claiming for. So we used Carrier and Bryant, and I'll use Delta Faucets again as an example. And when you click on those manufacturers, the claim form is going to pop up for each of them. So for your Carrier and Bryant, we have the name of our um, HVAC subcontractor, the number of complete HVAC systems, let's say we use two, we used a complete system, um, and let's say that we used some accessories here. So for a demonstration process, let's say that we used a thermostat here. So we'll enter in our model number and the quantity. Let's say we use two thermostats on those on those uh, on that home. Once you enter in that, your Carrier and Bryant claim is complete. For Delta Faucets, name of the plumbing supplier and the name of the most commonly used faucet in that home. Once that information is in there, I would recommend saving that to your desktop so you have your paper trail, you have documentation of what you had submitted. Save that, and then right from here, you can go ahead and submit your claim. And then that claim is complete. You'll receive um, an email confirmation that your claim was received. The last way to claim is through the customized Excel claim form. And this will also be the form if you request a customized claim form, um, unless specified that you would prefer the paper claim form, it's going to come to you as the Excel claim form. This is taking a moment to download. So I'm going to go and um, and close out that, but show you a quick demonstration. Just like the website claim form, it'll provide you with a listing of all of the manufacturers and you would just check off the manufacturers that you would use. What it'll provide you with is a blank claim form. Again, just like the other two ways of claiming, it provides you with the cells of the specific information that's needed where you'll enter in your completed addresses and the necessary information required for each of those manufacturers. So for Carrier and Bryant, the name of your, of your HVAC subcontractor, and then it has the drop down for the cell to submit what you're claiming for. I'm gonna show you what a completed claim form looks like too, because this is a good demonstration of exactly what your claim form will look like once you've completed and what you'll be submitting. So you'll see that there were three homes that were completed during that period. Um, the name of your HVAC subcontractor, the system quantities that were used, the accessories that were used along with their quantities and model numbers. So for this demonstration purpose, we have uh, thermostats and zoning systems. For Delta faucets, the three different Delta brands that qualify for a rebate, Brizo, Delta, and Peerless, uh, a name of the most widely used um, faucet that was used in the home, 
if it was Brizo, even if you just used one Brizo faucet in that home, you would still qualify for the Brizo claim. So make sure that you enter that in. And then with your fireplaces, uh, the name of your fireplace distributor, in this uh, case, Trinity Hearth and Home, um, wood, gas, and electric fireplaces, as well as stone surrounds and mantles from uh, the Hearth and Home collection, all qualify. So this is where you would enter in that information, the quantity and the model. And then with True Team, uh, all of the True Team services that are available, insulation, gutters, garage doors, fireplaces, and after paint, you would simply mark off what you had used with an X and provide your True Team installer name. Once that's complete, again, you save that to your desktop and you can email that into us um, or you can use the upload function and submit it through here. You'll have that file saved on your desktop, so it's just a simple matter of entering in the name of your company, your contact email, so we can send you that confirmation. You'll upload your file through the choose file, and then once that's loaded in, submit. So our emails are very easy. We keep that um, in such a way to make sure that it is easy for you to contact us. Info at HBA Rebates is our general inbox and Rich Robinson oversees that inbox. So if your claim goes to info at HBA Rebates.com, you're reaching Rich and you're sending him your claim or any question or concern that you might have. Um, you'll likely receive your welcome email from Josh Shields. Uh, his email is josh, J-O-S-H, at hbarebates.com. Um, he can receive your claim as well, review it, make sure that everything is in order, and again, uh, provide you with the support that you may want. Um, or you can send it directly to me, considering the fact that we've had this little bit of time today uh, to get acquainted with one another and learn about the member rebate program. My email is kim, K-I-M, at hbarebates.com. Also, all of our contact information, uh, how to reach us by telephone, or you can also contact us through uh, the Contact Us page. And we'll respond back to you within 24 hours to make sure that all of your needs are covered. So considering that, um, we've concluded the overall presentation of what the member rebate program is all about. Um, I highly encourage you to take a quick look at it, um, register, we can get you started on the path of receiving quarterly rebates. It's a great way to offset or possibly negate your membership dues. And it's really a wonderful opportunity for you to get this money back into your pocket, back into your business, um, being rewarded for your loyalty for using these manufacturers. Your habits, the use of manufacturers doesn't need to change in any way. Um, if you're already using these manufacturers, don't leave money on the table. Make sure that you're receiving these rewards. You'll find that it's an easy process. The first time around is always going to be the most challenging because you'll have three quarters worth of jobs to claim for, but know that you do have us as a support team to be able to help you navigate through and make this process as easy as, uh, as, easy as possible. So um, that concludes um, what I have to share today. Um, I'm going to open up the floor to any questions uh, that you might have. I don't see anything in the chat box, um, but feel free to reach out to me with any questions or you can also leave it in the chat and I can, um, and I can address those questions there. Hey guys. Overall, I'm going to open up the um, I'm going to open it up for questions uh, for our attendees for Ashley, David, and Emily. Um, I'll I'll uh, allow you guys to talk real quick just to see what questions you have directly for Kim. So I'm going to enable that. Give me just a minute. And Ashley, did you have any specific questions? I saw that you just unmuted yourself. 
I'm seeing the same thing on David. David, do you have any particular uh, specific questions for us? Just to make sure I understand the dates. If, uh, so I can submit rebate claims for all of 2020. Um, the deadline is the end of February, 2021. I can go all the way back to January of 2020. Correct, correct, okay. yes. Okay. Yeah, I would, I would encourage only because, um, you know, you'll, you'll want to receive your money as quickly as possible. Sure. If you do have any jobs that were completed as we're, um, even now we can start putting that together and that then just uh, kind of like that cleanup, uh, considering the fact that the November deadline will cover all of your jobs that were completed through September. If uh, you wanna start compiling that and then um, the end of September or sometime in October, um, I can work with you to make sure that we get everything in order in time for that November deadline. That way, at least you'll be receiving your rebates for the first three quarters of the year in February, rather than yeah. waiting until the spring to receive all of your rebates for the full year. Um, mm -hmm. It'll also be a way for you to, um, to get a, a, a taste of what you'll be anticipating. Um, and not burden you down um, in the beginning of 2021, when hopefully sure. we're living in a, a much more comfortable, normal world. Um, but uh, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. one other question, Kim, uh, is there a list of, of rebate amounts that uh, we have access to? Okay, so the manufacturers do not release those individual rebates that they offer as public knowledge. They do this because they want to keep the program pure and be able to continue to support uh, membership to the HBA. What we can do, um, if you want to take this offline, um, if you have the list of the manufacturers that you're currently using, we do have the ability to put together kind of like a ballpark figure of what you can anticipate your rebate to be. So, um, you again can judge if this is something that's going to work well for you. Just based on the um, on the claim that I used as a demonstration, let's see. So that alone uh, for one address is already in the in the ballpark figure of about one hundred seventy five dollars per home. Um, so again, keep, keep in touch with me. Let me know what kind of specific questions you have about what your estimate could be. And I'll gladly put together that okay, for fair you. Fair enough. Thanks. Great. You're very welcome, David. Uh, there are a couple questions here. Uh, let's see, Ashley, how can I find out if we have any missing quarters this year? Okay, good. I can find that out. Um, and... That's good, and Coleman has that information also. Um, Ashley, can you let me know what um, what the name of your company is? Let me double check that. I should have that That's in mind. Good. Yeah, because then I can go back. Okay, good. I see uh, Lingenfelter. Okay, Lingenfelter good. Custom Home. She's with Adam. Okay. okay. Okay, good. So I'll follow up on that when we hang up. Um, I'll see what your status is, what we have processed so far. Uh, very likely anything that was already claimed for, I'll have a remittance statement. Um, anything prior to what we're currently processing, which is second quarter. So I'll have some information for first quarter for you. Wonderful. Uh, let me see here. Is there any other questions that uh, that any of our attendees have regarding this program? We, we wanted to make sure that this was as thorough as possible to make sure that you're getting all the rebates back that you possibly can. And again, Kim, we can't thank you enough for coming today and, and helping mm -hmm. us out and doing this. Certainly. That's my pleasure. I do see a question from Emily. Can only claim for one manufacturer per home? No. Um, you can claim for all of the manufacturers. If you're using them, make sure that you're claiming for all of the manufacturers that you use. Um, the clarification on that is per address. Make sure that you're claiming for everything that you used, but claim 
claim for those manufacturers when the job is complete so you know that you're claiming for all of the materials that you used on that home. Probably the best example that I could use would be uh, Dow Tile because that's something where you may have completed or felt that you completed all of the tile work in that home, but then last minute the homeowner needs um, or wants an additional uh, backsplash work or uh, an additional powder room work on tile. Um, if you've already claimed for Dow Tile for that home, you wouldn't be able to go back in a, a, the next quarter and claim for that additional material. So that's, that's why it's crucial that you claim for only uh, those jobs when they're complete. Another thing that I, and I almost forgot this, so I'm glad that this question came up. Uh, there are other rebate programs out there that are available to you. The member rebate program is the only current member rebate program or rebate service that's available to you that is affiliated with the Home Builders Association. Because of the affiliation with the Home Builders Association, we assure that you're receiving the highest rebate that's available to you as a builder from that manufacturer. The one thing to keep in mind is that, of course, we do not have every single manufacturer that may have a rebate out there. If you do find that you're using other manufacturers and there are other rebates available for those other manufacturers who do not participate with the member rebate program, absolutely use those processes, use those, um, those programs that are available to you. This way you're securing, you're assuring yourself that you're receiving all of the rebates for all of your materials that you use and you're not leaving any money on the table. Um, so uh, the only thing there is that you are not able to claim for the same manufacturers through any duplicate programs. So if you're claiming through member rebate program, for progress lighting, know that, say, HomeSphere, you can't, you're not able to claim for that, uh, those products through their program. So you can only choose one. Um, again, I, I really hope that you see the value in the member rebate program. Um, and I do believe that, that ultimately the proof is in the, the amount of your rebate check. So Emily, I, I hope that that helps clarify what your question was. Wonderful, good deal. Awesome. Thank you for reaching out on that and that helped me uh, not forget some loose ends. Wonderful. Um, are there any other questions that you all have uh, before, we, before we wrap everything up? I'll unmute everyone just to make sure that we're not missing anything. I know one of y'all was having an issue with a mic. Okay. I think it was Ashley. Thank you. Great. Thank you, David. Yeah, reach out to me with um, with the manufacturers that you use, and I can provide you with an estimate of what you can anticipate. Thank you very much. Thank you, Emily. Be well. Looking forward to participating. All righty. I think we're in good shape at this juncture. Thank you all again for joining us this morning. I hope it was helpful. And Kim, thank you so much for your time. This was This was absolutely awesome. So, um, if you have any other questions regarding this program, just feel free to reach out to Kim directly or to me here at the local level. And we hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so Thanks much, everyone. Thank you. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.